So hello everybody, it's me, Cullen again, coming to you from the Philippines, standing in front of our house. And this is, it's a bit noisy. This is the village I live in. Backdrop, I have the house behind me. And show everybody what the village looks like. Here in Barangay Gobez in Santa Rosa. So there we go. This is also the family's house, the White House. Hi, Glenn. That's for you. So I'm just pan around outside the gate, taking a little break from working a lot at the house. Here come one of my lovely nieces, Belize, stopping by, styling in her car that daddy bought her on her 18th birthday, I believe. And there she is, the beautiful young lady. And yes, guys, she is available. Bless you, how you doing? I'm actually making a little YouTube video. I just, went, I just went to school today. Oh, and she's very smart. I'm plus one, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Bye-bye now. So that was nice for her to stop by. She's so sweet. <laughs> anyway, she made me lose my train of thought here. Bye now. So... <clears throat> and I set my drink down because it's very hot. I need to have a chair. I was doing a little scotch and scotch and water. So my bow high. And there's my another one. Wait a minute. Hi, Joshua. Get him out of the sunlight. There he is. That's Joshua. So. Sitting down right with the sun in my face. But my goal is to show a little bit of the um, village, what daily life is like here. And people normally sit outside and watch the traffic. So I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna do a little pause so I can go get a chair. Hey. Wife is, my wife is moving out. <laughs> Don't jump, baby. So our niece is helping her out. There they are. Uh, you sure you wanna get rid of all those boxes? So they help. Anyway, let me get a chair. So I'm back again. Got myself a chair to sit down in front of the house. Make a short little video of uh, life here in the village. And I know I'm facing in the sun, so I'm trying to find the right way, but this is how the street looks here on the street I live on. It gets very busy depending on what time of day it is, like all places. In the morning, extremely busy. And there's Ireland. Oh, hello. When all the kids are going to school, it's extremely busy because people going to school and work. Then it slows down around 8 o'clock in the morning. It's quiet until it kicks up again about lunchtime. And then again when the kids out of school between 3 and 4. And, and it'll just be like this 
because it's a little bit up to five right now. So it's not a lot going on. And this house in front of us is my wife's parents' house that they built a while back. Used to be where everybody that came overseas, came to the Philippines to visit, would it's mandatory stop at the White House. And there's some music playing. I hope my mic doesn't pick it up too much, but this guy can't really see him. I think he's cooking something on a cart right there. So, wasn't by, well here he comes. Selling this bread Filipinos make called Pandasan and um, he baked he's got a fire going it's baking while he's driving so whatever this guy here is selling is pretty good they're buying it I can smell the garlic from here But it's not bad what the vendors are selling. People come by selling all kinds of stuff during the day. There's some more of the relatives. There's Ariel. And everybody has to forgive me. This is a big family. And I have to admit that that's Rain. And I don't know all the kids' names. So... And of course, wouldn't be the Philippines without a whole bunch of dogs cruising around. And cats. But whatever this guy's selling must be good. There's our Apollo with his little son. We can zoom, maybe. The son doesn't mess it up. There he goes with the baby. video looks pretty good okay bye bye now all right bye now and thank you <laughs> shoot I'm about hungry this food here he's this guy selling here about to make me say hey how much definitely smell it. Well, it looks like a little pouch or something. Probably peanuts. So let me see. I got some money with me. I do. Let me see what he got. So let's walk over here. What we got? Oh. Yeah, I'll take so. How much? Ten. Ten? Ten. Yeah. yeah, give me one. So it's only ten. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. I'm going to eat right now. Oh, thank you. So, we got some spicy peanuts. Ooh, got some chili in there. Hey, you want some peanuts? It's spicy. You want some? Let me get a... So now I'm at buy a couple more. This guy right here, right here. Want another one? I mean, I'll get another one. Yeah. He's selling peanuts. Oh, okay. Want another one for her? I want one All right, I'll eat that one. 
just keep it. That's mine. So sorry. One more. Not spicy, plain. <laughs> Hot, hot, hot. Salama. And the kids are attacking me here. This is mine. Last year. And some more of our wonderful children. Big boy. <laughs> Got you on video. You'll be on YouTube tomorrow. <laughs> okay. So, got a pack of spicy nuts from the vendor. And they're roasted with garlic. And. If I can get this little pepper out of here, these little red chilies they have here. You grow them in your garden. They'll fire you up. I know it's hot. <clears throat> yeah, it's burning me up. I can barely talk. <laughs> I have to get my drink. <laughs> oh, the chili is pretty hot. Mm. But it's good though. It's one of the nice things about living here. So many people coming by, say vendor wise. They can buy all kinds of stuff. A lady come by in the morning selling vegetables. Some of them she's selling them by the kilo, which is about two pounds. But some of the vegetables are only 40 cents. Imagine that. And there is a pole on this side. Cruising by. So up the sun, try not to put the camera directly into the sun. It's not messing up the video too much. It's a nice evening. And these chilies and these peanuts, very good, but killing me. So, this is a look at how life is in the barangay. Nothing 
special going on. So once the sun goes down, you'll hear a lot of people sing it. But it's a pretty peaceful day. We've been working in the house mostly. I did my part. <laughs> we'll say till about one, two in the afternoon. Here comes a motorcycle. I'll show you how families travel. Hey, there they go. <laughs> One of the neighbors and his family on the bike, Mr. Sales, which reminds me I needed to do a video of them. But in general, everybody travels on, like you see this motorbike cross the street with the sidecar or in the Philippines, a tricycle. Because it's one of the cheapest modes of transportation, not everybody can afford a car. Just like in the States. It is the same way. I would be buying one too if I couldn't afford a truck. But if I was way out in the country, I'd give me a tricycle too, the scooter to go around. I uh, hear on an electric scooter. And there is security, the dog. Let me open up the... Uh... No, she don't want me to open the gate up. I was gonna open the gate. <laughs> so... I feel I'm gonna have to move. It comes from my, I think this is my son coming, yeah, with my truck, making me have to move. So we're going to take a pause for the call. So I had to do a pause because this young lady was disturbing me <laughs> last year. Thank you. So we're back again in the neighborhood. It's the end of the day. We all is leaving. Her and her sister helped my wife out, us out. A lot. And we appreciate it. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. There's my lo yeah. lovely Asawa. Oh, no. That's so dirty. Come here. Everybody wants to see you. She's, a, she's always so busy. Okay. We'll talk to you later. She says she is hungry. I don't know why I just spent 10 pesos buying her some peanuts. It's like 20 cents for this little pack of roasted peanuts with 
garlic. So, we're about to bring this to a close. Looking at life in the village. How the day-to-day -day life is. It's not too different than any place else with, our, you know. We got coconut tree, banana tree, dragon fruit. We got all kinds of stuff here. It's getting the evening. And of course, we got lots of mosquitoes will be out. But um, I found some nice cream in one of the stores. Off. <laughs> Works very well, keeps them away. Another food vendor. But all the folks coming by, you can literally sit here, depending on which one coming by, and buy all your food. This guy is selling the bread. He sells fresh baked bread. The partner saw a couple of different ones he sell. But um they're like five to ten pesos which is ten cents to twenty cents a piece I want to say and on his tricycle it's got an oven going but he's making the bread so it's fresh really fresh I wanted to buy some earlier, but my wife insisted he'll be back by, so just wait. So I'm waiting. Hello? <laughs> there they go. So, I'm going to wrap this up. We have some nieces overseas, nephews, who would love to see this, who are in Norway, in the UK, even in the US, and even here in the Philippines, would like to see this. So, hope y'all enjoy the video. Like I say, it's not a lot of excitement for other people, but life ain't always exciting sometimes it's just peaceful just like this kids come by they'll say hi to you they're very respectful hello like this one mm -hmm. hello and with that, we'll just wrap it up. Wish everybody a great evening from the Philippines. Y'all have a good day.